classification of concrete at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain the classification of concrete differentiate the properties of concrete describe their benefits and uses of concrete previously we have learned in the topic concrete and its characteristics that the romans were the first to use early forms of concrete they initially used clay between stone forms and then coated the layer with burnt limestone this layer on reaction with air formed a thin layer which was hard as a protecting shield later they identified that the volcanic ash in moist lime made a thicker coat and started using them but the lime was easily erodible and the rain or moisture caused it to swell this made the romans to add the sand and stones with the motor of lime and this resulted in the formation lime concrete romans had built a lot of structures from temples to forts the structures built in cold weather would freeze the concrete reducing its durability and strength to overcome this they had to try combinations of other materials that could result in the efficient way to withstand the cold weather with the idea of inventions made by the romans people over other areas in the world also used various materials in the preparation of concrete that morphed into new forms of concrete thereby resulting in various types of concrete in this lesson we will study about the various types of concrete the types of concrete can be classified based on their binding material design and purpose based on binding material concrete is classified into cement concrete and lime concrete cement concrete is a composite material it consists of cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate and water the ingredients of concrete can be differentiated into two components cement and water are the reactive components and fine and coarse aggregates are the non reactive components function of cement in the concrete is to bind the fine and coarse aggregates together by setting and hardening the structures two types of aggregates are used for concrete they are fine aggregates and coarse aggregates fine aggregates are of size greater than 2.36 mm and less than 4.75 mm and are used to make the concrete denser by filling the voids of coarse aggregates based on the structures coarse aggregates are usually larger than 4.75 mm and less than 20 mm coarse aggregates are used to make the concrete stronger and tougher water plays a vital role in the mixing of concrete it dampens the aggregates which controls the absorption of water during mixing and gives homogeneity to the concrete generally mixing of cement concrete is usually in the proportion of one part of cement 1.5 to 8 parts of fine aggregates and 3 to 16 parts of coarse aggregates concrete is used for the construction of foundation and other elements of the building such as the beam column and slabs concrete is also used for road pavement works and also for the load bearing structures of docks and harbors water retaining structures dams bridges and silos lime concrete is a mixture of lime fine aggregate coarse aggregate and water the main ingredient of the lime concrete is hydraulic lime which is generally used as a binding material it can mix with fine aggregates such as sand or surki and also with coarse aggregates and water in underfloors usual proportion for lime concrete is one part of lime 2 to 3 parts fine aggregate 3 to 4 parts of coarse aggregate advantages of lime concrete it prevents subsoil dampness in floors and walls it's available in cheaper rate it resists weathering effect for achieving good quality of lime concrete certain mixtures such as gur water fenugreek powder 
and fibers are sprinkled during final ramming and finishing. Disadvantages of lime concrete are Gaining of compressive strength in lime concrete happens over a very long period compared to the cement concrete. During the mixing of lime concrete, lime can cause rashes over human skin. Lime concrete is used as a foundation base of load-bearing walls, columns and terrace finishing. Based on design, concrete is classified as plain cement concrete, reinforced cement concrete and pre-stressed cement concrete. Plain cement concrete Cement concrete in which no reinforcement is provided is known as plain cement concrete. It is very strong in compression but weak in tension and shear. Plain cement concrete is used for column foundation and bed blocks. Reinforced cement concrete RCC Cement concrete structures in which steel rods or bars are embedded to counteract the tension loads which cannot be handled by the concrete are made by the reinforced cement concrete. In this concrete, standard steel bars of 6 mm to 32 mm in diameter are used as reinforcements. Sometimes, mesh type steel fabric and expanded metal are used for casting concrete walls. Advantages of reinforced cement concrete are Bonding between steel and concrete is very good, so the excess of stress acting on concrete is transferred to the steel. Compressive strength of this concrete is high. Durability of reinforced cement concrete is very high. Disadvantages of reinforced cement concrete are Cost of reinforced cement concrete is higher as the cost of steel bars is high. In this types of concrete, shrinkage may occur. Reinforced cement concrete is used as a component in the construction of residential and commercial buildings, especially for slabs, beam and column. RCC is used for bridges, earth retaining structures and water retaining structures. The cement concrete in which high compressive stresses are artificially induced before its actual use is the pre-stressed concrete. These stresses are induced by pre-tensioning the reinforcement before placing the concrete and then the reinforcement is released when the concrete reaches its final setting. Here, high tensile reinforcements used generally help to reduce the development of cracks. In these structures, durability is high. This is resistant to fire. Disadvantages of pre-stressed concrete are Extra labor cost is needed due to stressing of the tendons. Cost of these structures is high for small buildings. Pre-stressed concrete is used where high stresses are developed. Example, bridges. Based on purpose, concrete is classified into lightweight concrete, cellular or aerated concrete, fiber reinforced concrete, polymer concrete, self-compacting concrete and high early strength concrete, lightweight concrete. One of the major disadvantages of normal concrete is the high self-weight which has the density around 2400 kilograms per cubic meter. This heavy self-weight causes the heavy weight of the structures. To avoid the heavy weight of structures, we use lightweight aggregate of the concrete so the density varies from 1440 to 1840 kg per cubic meter. Lightweight concrete is used for making precast structural units for partition walls. Advantages of lightweight concrete are the density of lightweight concrete is low in comparison with plain cement concrete. This concrete has low thermal conductivity. Due to reduction of overall weight of concrete, the structural frames and heavy foundation are saved. Disadvantages of lightweight concrete are Mixing time of lightweight concrete is longer as compared to the normal concrete. In placing and finishing process, porosity may develop. In this type of concrete, normal curing is not possible, so stream curing is used. Cellular 
or aerated concrete is light in weight and spongy in structure generally by adding aluminium powder to concrete to generate aeration. The mass begins to rise due to hydrogen bubbles evolved by the chemical action between cement and mixtures thereby cells are formed in the concrete. Aerated concrete is generally used in sound and heat insulation structures. Advantages of aerated concrete are resistant to fire. Disadvantages of aerated concrete are aerated concrete cost is high as compared to the normal concrete. Compressive strength of this concrete is low. Fiber reinforced concrete. Tensile strength of normal concrete is very low. It develops cracks in the elements of the structures. To avoid this, fibers are added to the normal concrete and this is called as the fiber reinforced concrete. Many types of fibers are used. For the steel fibers, there are polypropylene, nylons, asbestos, coir, glass and carbon. Fiber reinforced concrete is used for road pavements, industrial flooring, bridge decks and canal lining. It is also used for precast concrete members of pipes, beam and staircase steps. Advantages of fiber reinforced concrete are flexural strength of fiber reinforced concrete is high. This concrete has high shearing capacity. Disadvantages of fiber reinforced concrete are cost of fiber reinforced concrete is high. The finishing of the fiber reinforced concrete surface is a difficult process. Due to improper compaction and high water cement ratio, normal concrete consists of air voids and water voids. The presence of these voids reduces the strength of the concrete. To avoid this, polymer concrete is used as it reduces the inherent porosity of the concrete by improving the strength and other properties of the concrete. Pipes, storage tanks, larger transfer machine frames are built with this type of concrete. Advantages of polymer concrete are they have better compressive strength low permeability and fire resistance. Disadvantages of polymer concrete are it consists of sodium hydroxide that can be harmful to the humans. During pile foundation or due to congested reinforcements in the structures, it is quite difficult to use vibrator needle for compaction. To enhance such difficulties, self-compacting concrete is used. It flows and compacts under its own weight. Self-compacting concrete is mostly used for bridges. The Akashi Kaikyo bridge is built by the self-compacting concrete and it has been used for the construction of the dome at the central station in Delhi. It is also used for the construction of the retaining structures. Advantages of self-compacting concrete are it gives better finished surfaces and therefore requires no plastering work. As there is no need of vibrator, or compaction required, the workmanship is less. Disadvantages of self-compacting concrete are skilled engineers are required to manufacture such special mix designs of concrete. Cost of this concrete is high. High early strength concrete strengthens faster than the normal concrete. Hydration of this concrete is a time-taking process. To avoid this complication, we add admixtures of accelerators to the concrete. This admixture speeds up the hydration process and hardening of the concrete. High early strength concrete is used for constricting underwater structures and also in cold weather regions. Advantages of high early strength concrete are Strength of the concrete increases with minimal time. Workability of this concrete is high. Disadvantages of high early strength concrete are In this type of concrete, Material selection is necessary. The water cement ratio for this concrete should be low for rapid curing process. Summary Concrete is classified based on binding material as cement and lime concrete, designed as plain, reinforced and pre-stressed cement concrete and purpose as lightweight, cellular, 